Nadia Binotto has been in the spotlight under pressure very recently. Is this because of the 2022 season, which started off very well for the Italian team and then seemed to have lost it all midway? Let's take a look at this in great depth, as there are many reports suggesting that Binotto's job is at risk too. So make sure to comment, like and subscribe. Turn on notifications bell to be made aware of our future video uploads, as we have plenty for you to keep watching during the Formula 1 offseason. Let's get straight into the situation and try to explain why we are talking about this subject, even if Ferrari did downplay the rumors, because we believe there can't be some smoke without any fire in place. When it comes to Binotto's future basically, what has happened is that there has been an initial bit of briefing, but nobody even at the upper level of Ferrari, including Nadia Binotto himself, know exactly from who or from where the suggestion is to Binotto's time at Ferrari as team principal is coming to an end, is actually coming from. The suggestion, which comes from Sky Italia and an Italian newspaper, also shows that there is a bit of a movement between the Ferrari organization to try and replace Binotto with Fred Bessor, who is currently the team principal of Sauber team that runs as Alfa Romeo in Formula 1. The suggestion is that ultimately, there are too many failings from the Ferrari side and Mattia Binotto is the man responsible for those failings, and that he is not the man to lead the Ferrari team into the future. Mattia Binotto has looked into this matter reportedly and made comments over this speculation, because he is very worried and unsure as to where this speculation has emerged from and he has sought certain assurance from the chairman of Ferrari, mentioning that those speculations are not true, and wants his team to put out a statement downplaying those prospects about his replacement. Ferrari is the most loved team. And when there is such a big passion around it, there is always as well a lot of criticism and rumors. When these speculations were out I had a chat with my chairman John Elkin. Together we discuss openly what was the best way to move forward and we decided to release a statement. That was maybe the best way to close any speculations and clearly those are speculations, totally, with no foundations. This is why we saw an official statement which was released by Ferrari last week which stated, in relation to speculation in certain media regarding Scuderia Ferrari team principal Mattia Binotto's position, Ferrari states that these rumors are totally without foundation. We have also heard that Fred Vachur was lining up a trip to Marinolo in between the Brazilian and Abu Dhabi Grand Prix weekends, and we can't stop to imagine if this meeting had any link towards the rumors made, or is this just a meeting for discussion of Ferrari's engine customer deal for Sauber Alfa Romeo team. So yeah, there is a lot happening, but is there a connection to all of these incidents? The statement released by Ferrari here is saying a lot. I mean, it's only a little words, but Ferrari was quick to release a statement to dismiss any claims, whatsoever. Also, none of the other Ferrari team bosses who lost their jobs recently, ever got such a vote of confidence. But, does all this portray Mattia Binotto as a person under immense pressure? I should say that Mattia sounded as a person under pressure when he was defending his record in the team principal's press conference at Abu Dhabi, pointing out that Ferrari has achieved its targets for the 2022 season under his leadership, to return back to the top of the board, to regain its competitiveness. Yes, we had few up and downs, we are not the best yet, but I think we achieved our main objective which was to be competitive in that new year of the 2022 cars, and no one would never have imagined Ferrari to be so fast at the start of the season. It's a team which is not only working hell but has proved to be capable. Yes, there are still a lot of things that we need to progress. Weaknesses have been shown. But I'm pretty sure that as we did in the past, we will review, we will try to address them. I'm relaxed. Well, it seems Mattia Binotto is happy about 2022 but that's not what Ferrari really expect right. Ferrari expect to be winning championships, competing all the way to the end and they haven't done that this season. They have tailed off and Ferrari has a history of doing this recently. When you go back to 2017, Binotto was the technical director, and they started strongly, but couldn't sustain the championship challenge against Mercedes. It was the same in both 2018. 2019 was kind of a weird year, as we saw the Ferrari strong at certain tracks, but not on others. And obviously, there was the question marks over the legality of the Ferrari engine which impacted the 2020 and 2021 seasons. Those two seasons were completely written off, so that the 2022 season could be a really competitive season. Binotto undertook two major restructurings within the F1 team, and got all the changes ready for the 2022 season, but ultimately, it's been a disappointment. Regardless of the successes that Binotto's had at Ferrari, the stability he had bought, the success he had had in turning the engine around in the early turbo hybrid era, and then taking over the role from James Allison when he left Ferrari unexpectedly. There are still weaknesses in pretty much every area of the team, despite of the success metrics we just mentioned before, from track operations to chassis concepts to development of engine reliability, and you could say, the pit stops too. Mattia Binotto has been in charge of this Ferrari team since 2019. It's a long time yet the team is not performing at the level which it is needed or supposed to be performing in order to fight for championships. 
While all these were happening, Carlos Saints was asked about these rumors, and he responded by saying that Rome wasn't built in a day. Now this feels like he is suggesting what Ferrari needs to do now is not sacking its employees, but its consistency that they need, and stick to the path which they are already on, presumably with Binotto on the driving seat. Considering the journey Ferrari has been on, from where it was a couple of years ago, the team has come a long way, and I think that giving Binotto another season has low downsides and high upsides. Just considering a Formula 1 team, it's a big organization and trying to get results when even a small part of its structure is changed would be a hard task to achieve within a small time period. Instead, rebuilding a F1 team and trying to become a championship contender on a regular basis is a journey which is rarely to show perfect linear development progress. As long as the trend is in the positive direction, there may be ups and downs on the path, it is better to continue with the same team. We certainly would not defend Ferrari this season, as we never bought into the stuff they were saying earlier in the season, as they just kept saying that they were not meant to be fighting for championships this year. That is not something that anyone would expect a team to say and achieve, when they did have a car which was capable of fighting for championships, the team's goals can't change based on the points reality, especially in Formula 1. When you consider different situations, in preseason, Ferrari looked like they would be happy to take runners up position in both championships, but after the first few races, it was evident that they should have done better than what they achieved in this season. Let's just compare them with Mercedes, from preseason to the first half of the season, they were a team who were the best of the midfield, but were much behind Ferrari and Red Bull, but by the season's end, they were fighting Ferrari for the runners up spot in the Constructors' Championship. So, whatever Ferrari did this season is below par as per our concerns. One argument which I hear from time to time from the Ferrari team is that they have achieved the hard part, they have fixed a lot of problems in the car, from the engine weaknesses they had from before for example. They still have to improve on car development in certain other areas, but that argument is a good one and we can agree on that and it is absolutely valid, as they are making strides in right areas, as they are chipping away in the right areas making progress. If you just go more one year with Binotto as the team principal to see if the remaining areas can be fixed, it is a massive upside. The downside of letting him stay at Ferrari for another year is that they would win a load of races, but yet probably finish in the top two or three spot in the championships, which is not a bad trade-off after all. One more year of time is fine for Mattia Binotto, but he should be absolutely judged in 2023. Well, there remains one other question to be answered. Who else is there to replace Mattia Binotto at Ferrari as team principal? Obviously we have heard of Frederic Vessera's name being linked for the job. Frederic has done a good job at Sauber Alfa Romeo, but it's a big step up to Ferrari, even for Vassour. The Charles Leclerc camp would enjoy Fred very much, as they did work well with Charles when he was a rookie, racing for Sauber. But, is Frederic the correct choice? I don't think so, as he has the same weakness as Mattia Binotto has. For an example to name, the miscued strategic calls. Fred has not been perfect at Alfa Romeo Sauber, as we have Sauber make the same sort of mistakes as Ferrari has done in this season. I would personally recommend a person of character similar to one of Andrea's Seidel maybe, as he has been guiding the McLaren team on a proper direction and he is strict on his work. I personally have not seen any buts or exemptions coming from Andrea's, so he is the type of guy which Ferrari needs at this moment to stir them properly in the case of Binotto being replaced by someone at Ferrari as team principal. So, what do you guys think of this speculation? Has Mattia Binotto underperformed this season to be replaced by some other, or does he deserve another year at Ferrari? Let us know in the comments section.